just just doesn't seem that assertive to me. He just doesn't give me that strong male presence. But we'll figure it out. You ain't waiting now, fam. I'm in it. That's good. Let's push forward. Let's get out of here. Oh, baby. Listen, hey, guys, we're talking to you about Lee and Chris situation. I think what's really interesting about these two is what Lee just said. She's looking for that very strong male presence. Now, I've been a bit cheeky with the title and put alpha male. Of course, she never said those words. And I don't necessarily believe she wants necessarily an alpha male. But she definitely is judging Chris, not by his ability to provide, but his ability to be present in that place and show up in a way that he dominates the room. It's quite interesting because if you compare him and Quinton, they are not the same. Quinton naturally gives you through his physique and through his presence and through, I guess, also, you know, his way of maneuvering around the room, he gives you an, a, an aspect of dominance or at least some aspect of assertiveness. But he's a lover boy. And then you have Chris, who is a lover boy, um, probably far more dominating than Quinton is, but on a more, I would say, on a more subtle level, right? You're going to get Chris's dominance when you meet him one-to-one -one and you're finding a relationship and he's finally comfortable. He doesn't, do, he doesn't do that dominance with other men, quote-unquote. Let me be real true from what I'm observing. I'm not seeing that dominance when it comes to around other men because men tend to find their way in the group and blend into the hierarchy. Like, I always say this, like, the kind of person I am personally is more of a sigma male, right? So alpha male, when I say about, when I say about sigma, meaning we often use our intelligence. We like to think outside the box and we like to be outside of the construct of what we call social hierarchy. And amongst men, we actually do become very high. We do actually obey hierarchy because naturally men are submissive. That we submit. We submit to one another in order to create cohesion within groups. So whenever there's a, a new group forming, you'll realize that men tend to quickly try to find themselves in a particular position, depending on what kind of energy, what vibe, what their personality is, um, and how they maneuver, right? Um, I'm a bit more of a I'm a bit more of a team worker, trying to bring people into cohesion. Um, I want to I want to see things flow seamlessly. You know, I don't necessarily like taking the lead and charge. That's not my kind of personality, right? I tend to often be the person who's like, you know, is 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 a consultant to a group, right? The sigma male. I'm often outside of the social hierarchy. When you have an alpha male, they, they usually are the top of the food chain because the, the hierarchy recognizes that person, quote unquote, within the group dynamics. And, and, and they can change in different group dynamics, by the way. But in this group dynamics, they recognize an individual person. Now, I don't, I'm not going to say that Quinton is the most dominant person in that group, but he pretty much is the most dominant person in that group. However, the men may feel about it from what we can see on the screen. And I think what's really interesting about it is also how the ladies responded. Because was it not Quentin who often was the one that was getting all the ladies at the very beginning who wanted him? He's a football player, jockey, you know, big, big size, you know, chocolate, dark skin, you know, a good looking guy, whatever, whatever, right? He, he fits the stereotype that we <clears throat> often see fitting the alpha male uh, situation. But the key thing here is with Lee and how she describes Chris. She says he will be a great provider, but I'm not sure about his assertion. And we have to go all the way back and go deeper to understand where this is coming from. So we're going to we're gonna break it down a little bit more, right? Um, if you disagree or agree, fantastic. Comment in the chat. I don't mind. If you agree or disagree so far with my premise, then comment down below in the comment section. Let, leave a comment behind, you know? Let's discourse there, right? But if you're new to the channel, do me this great big, 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 big favor. I want you to like it. I want you to share, and I want you to subscribe to the channel. Say it with me. Like, share, subscribe to the channel, okay? And don't forget also to click on the bell button for notification of the uploads. We appreciate y'all um, as well. And that just means you get notified of when I upload and when I go live um, on this as well. And the final thing is, don't forget, we are trying to get ourselves to 100K, so we need your help. If you haven't already subscribed and you, you've been, you know, enjoying the content, you come across my content once or twice, look, subscribe, get involved, help us reach that important goal um, of 100K um, and having you guys on our great platform as well. And finally, if you haven't joined already, you can join the membership. It's a pound or a dollar and you can join the membership. We have lives every other Tuesday. I believe we have one coming up this Tuesday. So we'll be seeing you this Tuesday as well. Right. Look. For those of you who are returnees, you know what it is, baby. 
You got the middle rows. You got the middle rows. Stay hydrated because the squeeze out there are hot. All right, let's get into this video um, and let's break down some things because I think there's some key aspects I want to look into and I want to be able to break down as uh, strong as possible. Um, and let me just put this banner across so you guys can also see it as well. Um, hopefully you guys will help us do that. Okay, cool. So let's uh, put this video up there. And let's go slightly back. I want to go to the introduction, okay? Because I want to talk about how, uh, you know, I want to talk about first and foremost, the behavior of Muffin and how she even was looking at him because, and, and not to say that she'll do anything. No, not at all. Not Please don't think I was um, saying that in this instance. Um, I think Muffin was trying to, I, I, there's obviously a relationship between himself um, uh, and and Muffin already previously because they've met each other, um, you know, as well. So it, it helped with the connection, right? But it's interesting how she hugged Chris compared to how Chris hugged Lee, right? At the very end, how Lee hugged Chris was not the same way, right? Was not the same way. Um, and so I was like, oh, okay. Uh, I think this is, um, I think this is an indication of where Lee and Chris are. I don't feel they're actually a connection, personally. I don't feel they're much of a connection. I think it it, it looks nice, it smells nice, but it ain't much of a connection, right? Um, and so let's let me just put this on here so you guys can see. Uh, my computer wants to play nice. There we go. All right, cool. There we go. But I'm open to whatever they ask me. That's basic. How you doing? Oh, yeah. hey, look me How you doing? Hey. Oh my God, I know yeah. him. You know him. Yeah. We're in the industry together. Okay, so the first hug that they had was actually a really good hug, right? Himself and Lee, they hugged really nice. Like he it was a front hug. It wasn't missing anything, um, and it was a decent hug, right? She got up. And when Muffin came, it was actually more of a side hug, a little bit. She kind of brought her side to him, but he opened his arms up wide. It was a decent hug. It's at the very end that the hug changes, right? Not only does the hug change, Lee doesn't get up. And, and that told me all I needed to know about the connection. Yes, there was initial, uh, what do you call it, uh, festivities of, uh, you know, niceness. But once it got to the very end... There was no getting up for Lee. Now, they may, they may have been filming for a very long time. Maybe they were tired. Who knows? But it doesn't look good, right? It doesn't look good that we get to a point where we're here. All right. Nice to see you again. All right, y'all take care. All right, good one. See, that for me tells me everything I need to know. Like, you're not going to get up and hug me, but your friend's going to get up and hug me at the very end. And it's interesting because the way that Muffin was describing Chris to Lee, it's almost as if Muffin was trying to let Lee know, hey, this is one of the good ones. Open your eyes and see. This is one of the good ones because she can vouch for Chris. Now, I don't know how deep she can vouch for him, but she's obviously vouching for Chris, right? Okay. So the next thing that happens is then in uh, the, the, the description, how she describes Chris. I thought it was fascinating, right? I'm going to get the first one, um, the first one, which is what the title of the actual video was, which is, you know, he's like a, he's like a guy version of you, right? And I think this is really important too, because I think it speaks to the heart of what this actually is for these two. I'm going to be a little biased. I'm going to be a little but, biased, you yeah. know, <laughs> ultimately got to be the best for everybody. But it makes sense because it's like, he's literally like the guy version of you, I swear. Wow. Like, wow. fitness, career now, isn't it interesting that her description was, he's literally the guy version of you. Now, when she was describing Quentin, she, she was also, also saying, um, I can tell this is your type, right? But she describes Chris as, this is the same person as you, the guy version. And I'll tell you why I believe that's the case, right? From what I've seen with Chris and what I've seen with Lee, both are very emotional. When I say emotional, emotionally reactive, right? Or I should say, no, let me say that change of word. Sensitive. I'm sensitive as well, so don't take it personally. I want to keep it real. I'm very sensitive, right? And what we saw with Lee, remember, she gets tunnel vision, right? She gets tunnel vision when she gets into situation. What does Chris say a little bit later on? He can't date multiple people. 
They both have tunnel vision. Once they get in, they go. That's it. They can't do multiple people. It's not easy for them to do so. Why? The sensitivity. Right? They're both very, very sensitive people. I think added on to the sensitivity, another aspect that was uh, intriguing is how she described him as king. Right? I don't know if you guys actually heard it. I'm going to get my notes and make sure I've got the right time. Okay, cool. Yes. Right? And let me tell you something. Something about Muffin, she knows how to host somebody. She knows how to make them feel good. Now, I can tell she's a real estate agent because she knows how to make you feel good. The way she described Chris, I was like, I, let, I need Muffin to come up here and describe me the same way, baby. Okay? Now, you see how she described it? Like, oh, listen, you know, hey, the king is here, et cetera, et cetera, right? Now, Lee wasn't best impressed by that description. Um, because again, Lee wears all her expressions on her face. She actually can't wear her expressions anywhere else. She wears it on her face. When she doesn't agree with something, it comes upon her face. She's got no poker face. And so what's really intriguing is how she reacts to these situations when she's watching, when she's hearing something that she doesn't necessarily like. And I think the same is with Chris, because when Chris did the exact same thing with Jessica, they were asking questions about, yo, what do you think about Jessica? Like, wife did it? That, 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 that he done stuttering and and it's interesting because again his facial expressions not necessarily i wouldn't say as expressive as lee but definitely i was like yeah he's not feeling jessica anymore something happened he's not feeling no more right i'm gonna cut you off okay um and that sensitivity is there and i think they both mirror each other in that sensitivity now what i see with lee is she doesn't want that sensitivity she doesn't want that man to be as sensitive as her because she's really sensitive Right. And so having Chris as being that sensitive individual, too, it's not going to work for her. Right. Regardless of what we feel, it's not going to work for her. She wants a man that's going to fight and stand up for her. Hence why she kind of likes Quentin, because Quentin is, quote unquote, kind of doing that. Not all the way, but kind of doing that. And unfortunately, what she needs to be aware of is because Quentin is considered to be quite the established member of the boys uh, group. Right. And because Quentin is saying and you're saying without really saying that y'all two like each other so much, people are running away, darling. Right. So we can talk about how and I'm going to get there. Let me not jump ahead of my time. Let me, let me go according to let me go according to my notes. Let me jump ahead of my time um, and address it. Uh, but he did say about the multiple connections. So let's go there quickly just so I can provide that evidence for you guys as well. I'm going to skip slightly back for when he says about the multiple people as well all right people like and i explain myself because i've never and my ex even told her that i can't date multiple people i just can't we love that so in in that environment it's like all right these guys are pretty cool right i'm like what if this so he can't do more people either he struggles to do that and juggle having multiple interests so they are very similar they are alike i don't think lee liked the comparison personally Bit like how she like the like what, what her and Janelle, what do her and Janelle have in common um with Quentin choosing? So again, once more, it's like I, I, I feel like when I'm looking at Chris and I'm Lee, I'm seeing two 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 peas in a pod, the same way that Muffin was seeing it. Muffin, I had a I had a different opinion of Muffin from the interview of Quentin, but I realize now no Muffin isn't as much of the issue as I thought, and I'll do a separate video for that. Lee's the issue. Not that she's bad, but Muffin knows Lee better than we know her. We we're we're trying to we're trying to put a certain image on Lee or at least a certain viewpoint of Lee, but actually Muffin's quite right. Quinton was exactly her type. Quinton's exactly her type, and actually that's the kind of woman that she likes. And you know, like if Lee doesn't want him, that's fine. She'll say it. But there is no, there is no that is she vetted correctly. That's actually the kind of person she would like. And I think the same thing has happened here. Uh, you know, interesting that she was almost trying to, and I would say, quote unquote trying to you know like how we do like a crb but almost trying to you know put a self-approval on chris for lee like hey focus on this one like he he sees like a good one right kind of that's what kind of energy i was getting from her um so anyway we'll go let me go and dip in that another video uh i wanted to f- get this part out as well um lee doesn't believe that he's a, he's he's assertive at all right lee doesn't believe that at all um but i want to face this part here because i think it's important Right, this part here. We're gonna go slightly back to where we were. I want to just show you this now. Right, he's literally like the guy version of you. 
swear. Wow. Like okay. fitness, career driven, what? like family oriented. Like this is. I don't know. I don't know because I told you he backed down from the connection a little bit. Now remember, I told you guys about this last time about how our good sis wants men to fight for her. She did the exact same thing with Chris, even though she didn't text him back. She wanted Chris to fight for her, even though Chris never got a text back. And now we're mentioning it again. I said, I don't know if we're the same because again, Chris want to back down. Why? Well, baby, you don't want to compete either. Remember how you shut down when he kind of said that he ghosted you? You didn't have a fighting response. You had a keep quiet response. So un unless we're getting the wrong image of you, Lee, then you're not really a fighter either. Because you're not a fighter, Lee. Now, maybe, Lee, hey, don't get twisted. I'm not I'm not saying Lee don't have a little bit of a mouth when she needs to. I'm not saying that she can't back her corner. What I'm saying is you're not you're not a natural fighter, Lee. And so what's happening is you're saying you're not, you're not the same as him because he backed down, but you actually backed down. When Quinton said he ghosted you, it's sort of saying, hey, Quinton, that's not what happened. You had all that chat when you were in the interview, not when you're on the show. Now, you might have been thinking about your reputation as a black woman. But like I said, people who fight find their way to fight. You could have found a way to be assertive in that moment and say, hey, excuse me, Quinton, that's not, that's not what happened there. Right? But instead, you shut all the way down. You don't like fighting either because you're very sensitive. And so Chris, in the same manner, and um, same manner, also again, just like Chris said, just like Phil said, we're having three people kind of, kind of hint towards this particular issue, that you are given an energy that you are taken already, and there is nothing I can do, because if you're not giving me an energy that you're actually open, I'm not going to chase you at all. And I don't think she necessarily wants people to chase, but she, um, I, I think she wants people to, to, she wants a man to prove that they want her. Right. And unfortunately, to prove that they're going to have to fight other men in this situation. Right. So let's just play that little clip and then we'll continue. All right. So you can see. Yeah. I give other people like a chance. And I can you explain me, myself I'm... because I've never, in my ex even told her that I okay. can't date multiple people. Okay. I just can't. We leave. And yes. okay. In that environment, it's like, all right, these guys are pretty cool. Right. I'm like, what if? So this is my thing. What if I like her, yeah. and then she likes him, he likes her, and right. she might like him more. I want her to be happy ultimately. I so, in some sense, Chris is basically saying, when it came down to the crunch, if, if basically, you know, uh, someone, if you, I want her to be happy. If she likes someone else, then you know, cool. I'm not going to interrupt it. The reality of the situation is what he was really saying is I'm not going to compete, and I don't. I'm not going to say that necessarily from a from a from an arrogant standpoint, but in a sense of I don't want to compete. Like I I don't, I don't really want to compete with you for you. Do you know what I'm saying? Like maybe I don't like competing. Maybe I'm not very strong at competing. Maybe it's not my natural forte. Let me be honest with you. I'm not your natural competitor for a woman. Like if I see several dudes on it, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a conversation with you and I'm gonna see where your energy is at. If I see that your energy is not really there, I'm not going to fight for you. I'm not proud enough to do that. Now, there were other guys who really would, and I'm not going to cuss them for doing it. In fact, because that's what wins them over. That's what wins the girl over. That girl wants that kind of energy. I can't provide that. That's not my MO. I, I usually fight through intelligence. I try to fight through, you know, I'm a, I'm a bit more of a sniper and a bit of a ninja. I'm not really more of your brawler, wrestler, get in your face, brute strength. No. So if that's the case, I can also see the same thing with Chris and a few of the other guys too who are looking and going, but sis looks like she's tied up with Quinton already. So what am I really fighting for? You know what I mean? Like, there has to be a hope and a chance. Like, if Lee is tunnel vision, how can she actually be, how can she be open to any other guy? And that's what I think what the guys are really seeing. She's not as open as she may think she is because the energy she's putting out is, I'm closed. I'm already tied up with somebody. I've already got someone in mind. I've already got somebody I'm trying to feel already. And the guys are probably going to see that. Right? Let's just uh, bring this back on. Okay. In that environment, it's like, all right, these guys are pretty cool. Right. I'm like, what if, so this is my thing, what if I like her, yeah. and then she likes him, he likes her, and right. she might like him more, I want her to be happy ultimately. And if you heard what he said, what if I like her, she likes him, and she likes him a little bit more. Do you hear what he said? And what he's really saying is, yes, well, she likes somebody a little bit more. That's what he's really saying. The reason why you're not seeing me be strong is because you like somebody a bit more. And in reality, what am I doing trying to compete? Now you can if you want to. If that's up to you, I wouldn't say no. There are some, like I said, there are there are guys who have that confidence, that flair, that charm, that aggression. That do you know what? Even if they see you a little bit liking someone else, they don't care. They're gonna they're gonna try and win you over. I think that's what. And, and the reason why I'm saying that is because what Muffin even says later on, the kind of man that 
actually Lee wants is an aggressive type of man. And I don't think that was a mistake in using that word. And more assertive is a better, probably a better word, but she Muffin used more aggressive. She wants that man that's going to come and take her. Well, the only person doing that is Quinton. Because once the other guy saw that Quinton wanted you like that and you wanted Quinton like that, they ain't trying to fight Quinton to get to you. They're not. Right? So in some sense, you're locked in that situation with Quinton. Okay. Right. So that that part there, you know, was interesting. Let's just want to play it a little more time just to just to get that that sound bite again. Let's listen carefully. All right, these guys are pretty cool. Right. So I'm like, what if so this is my thing? What if I like her? Yeah. And then she likes him, he likes her, and right. she might like him a little more. I want her to be happy ultimately. It's not about yeah. what I want. Yeah. But then I realize in this process, you gotta go, go for what you want. Yeah. And then you gotta understand. Now notice that as he's saying that the whole point was that conversation was preceded by she said he wasn't trying to fight for me very similar rhetoric she used with chris the other chris very similar rhetoric she used with other chris that you're not what one text you're not going to try and fight for me uh, you you she wants these guys to fight for her not fight over her it's different fight for her to show that they actually want her and, then, and unfortunately, your connection with Quinton has made other men step back. Because unless you're going to step out and show that actually I'm open, really open, guys, which I don't think you're necessarily showing because, like I said, you didn't text back, don't, didn't text back Chris last time. I don't know what the situation here with Chris here. He stepped back because maybe he realized you weren't really as connected. And like you were saying, once you get tunnel vision, you get tunnel vision. So what's changed? Now, my only thing with here with, with Chris was a conversation about marriage. And I feel like the, the answer he gave was, was poor. And I think the reason why the answer was poor, it was an edited uh, version. But even though it was edited, my thing is this. They could, have, they could have at least edited part of your answer into the situation. They didn't edit any of your answer into it. And I felt like the reason why is because you didn't have an answer. Right? Let's listen to this. Let's listen to it. Let me get this up. Let me get this up and uh, get this going. There you go. So to really get to, to know someone, yeah. I've been hearing people like, Chris, you work so much real estate. How are you going to make time? Oh, okay, own, really? I own bubble, okay. to be honest. Now, this was an edited answer because obviously he didn't speak that originally. The question actually was preceding this, and I'll play it in a second or two. But the question that preceded, look at the look that she's giving him. She don't believe a word he's saying. Um, You know, the question that preceded this was actually about Chris what's your thoughts on marriage and, and time frames? Are like, are you a person that's just going to, you know, kind of go with the flow? Like, or are you someone who's you got a set time frame kind of situation? And he kind of said, spoke about, oh, you know, um, people keep saying about, I don't have much time, da, 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 da. And it was an edited answer because they, they cut it and I saw that it was edited. But in reality, I'm guessing that no answer came forth. That's why they cut it because it was long-winded and probably didn't have any real, um, uh, have any real impact in terms of answering the actual question. So I was looking, I was like, yeah, that's why they cut it. You know, someone might say editing, but I'm like, what answer would you have given? Because clearly they didn't put it in. And I think they didn't put it on purpose because there was no answer. There was nothing to put in there. Um, so yeah, that was that's my only kind of quirk with Chris there in that situation. I don't know how much of a, 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 a connection they have. I think they find each other attractive, but I don't think there's actually a connection there for either one of them as well, right? Um, I want to play a little bit further as well. Um, you know, and so you can see what we're looking at. But this is a look that she gave him where she said, mm -mm. okay, she said, mm -mm. Lee is, Lee has the cutest personality, but like her man needs to have an aggressive personality, right? That's important yeah. to me yeah. and how I feel in a relationship that a man. Now he said that's important to him um, that, you know, she has, um, you know, the person that's going to be aggressive and he says it's important to her and then he goes on to say uh well early one he wanted to say and i was trying to find out where he actually said it because early one he said about them being dominant and coming into the room and she didn't believe a word he said when he said about being more dominant right he was like oh when we come to a room and more dominant you know it, we have an intimidating kind of presence and she looked at him like you don't have that so now we're talking about the fact that aggressive woman notice how she's looking at him there is no indication that says that she believes that he's a he's a he's a, a assertive or aggressive man, and she told us that on an interview that he needs that, and she told us on this episode she doesn't believe that he is those things. In fact, we can even play a little bit of a clip here 
um, of the look that happened, which was really, really funny because the look she gave to the camera and broke the fourth wall, crazy. All right, let me just put this here so you can see it as well. Hmm. I was looking at like, yo, baby. Because yeah, people yeah. naturally get intimidated. Yeah, you do. You know, so that's how I kind of felt a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but I commend so you for trying to dig deep into Lee and figure out what she's really about. <laughs> because, I mean oh, girl broke the full fool. She said, wait, 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 wait. People get intimidated by you, Chris, when you come into the room? And she went... Now, I told you, Lee can't hide her face when she feels some type of way. So clearly it's come out. She doesn't feel that way that he is intimidating or assertive when he comes into the room. It's like, it's like, it's like cap, basically what she's saying. Like what you're doing right now is cap. Now you know that you don't have that personality. You know you don't have that energy. You know you don't have that, that vibe. Please, Chris, stop it. That's what that energy I was getting from her, right? Um, and then I want to uh, go a little bit later on because... There was a part where they spoke about what she wanted. Uh, let's put it here. Okay. You know, she started smiling when they were talking about princess energy. She wants to be, tre she wants to be treated like a princess. And I'm not mad at it. You know what I mean? Go be you, babe. Go be you, babe. Snobby, not yeah. right. Breakfast treatment only. Breakfast treatment <laughs> only. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, you can let her think she's bossing sometimes, but I really need that guy to put his foot down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what she needs. Well, um, now, interesting that she said you can let her feel like she's a bossy sometimes, but I need you to put your foot down. Now, I'm guessing that's because of maybe a little bit of conversation that they've had previously. I'm guessing, you know, she spoke to, to Muffin about Lee, about Lee and why she couldn't really rock with him. Um, that, you know, she feels like she would run over him. And that's a real thing. Um, that's a real, real thing for a lot of ladies that they feel like they need a man that will be able to let them know or quote unquote, put them in a place. And I hate that term, but will let them know that, listen, this behavior is unacceptable. I don't rock with this. It's not what I do. Um, and they're not going to do it passive aggressively. They're going to be very direct and say, hey, that, I don't do that. Stop. Right? And that you get to that place when you as a man have become quite acquainted with your boundaries and you're not afraid of upsetting people because you don't care to upset because in reality, your truth and your boundaries come first. And when you get to that place, you're able to assert yourself in situations where you might think, this girl's a beautiful girl. I don't want to lose her. No. At the end of the day, you're not going to talk to me like that. We're not going to do that game here. Back up. Correct yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay? Um, and so, yeah, for me, Lee doesn't necessarily give a strong male presence. To, I'm sorry. Chris doesn't give Lee a strong male presence. Because remember as well, look how he, if you remember how he was brought up, he was brought up with his mum too, because obviously, obviously the father passed. And that makes a big difference too. That makes a huge difference in terms of how you present and what energy you actually put out there as well. And it's in, it's it's not anywhere not sorry. It's not. It is very plausible that Lee's also reading that energy too. That hey, he doesn't put that assertive energy out there, and you know, understandably, he grew up around his mom, so he's going to have more of that feminine energy. And she wants to be more. Lee wants to be more docile, or should I say, sorry, more submissive with that masculine presence. Lee, uh, Chris doesn't necessarily have that energy. OK, Chris does not have that energy that she requires. Um, and so for me, um, I'm going to leave it there and say, listen, hey, I think, you know, I understand where Lee's coming from. I understand where Chris is coming from. Uh, but in reality, there is something that Lee wants that may have been stopping her from previous relationships that looking for that ultra male dominance. And she might not call it that myself, herself or maybe might not even call it alpha male, but that the description of what she actually wanted does give slight quote unquote alpha male kind of energy. Um, they're very assertive, very dominant. They lead the room. They want to take control situations. Like you can't mess around with the alpha male. They know exactly what they're bringing to the table and that confidence that they have. Maybe that's what she was necessarily looking for. And maybe it's not worded alpha male, but it's worded as assertive man. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, click on that bell button for notification uploads. We appreciate you guys. Stay locked and loaded. Don't forget to help us reach 100K subs. Keep liking, keep sharing.